Welcome to day 23 of 30 Days of Prayer for Our Children. This one is a hard one. Yesterday was kind of hard because standing up for injustice isn't always easy. But loving your enemies, wow, that to me is one of the hardest teachings in all of the Bible. Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. Matthew 5, 43 and 44 says, you have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. Sure, we could do that, right? Um, it's a little hard to love our neighbor all the time, but, but we could probably muster some of that up. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Wow, if that is hard for me, how much harder is it going to be for my kids? But we want more for our kids and we want more for ourselves. We want to understand what it is to love even those who persecute us, even those who don't deserve our love. Because uh, at the root of that goes way back to the very beginning of our prayers for our kids, that they would recognize the need for a savior. And when they recognize how they look in God's eyes, as much as God loves us, there's no one righteous, not even one. So when they realize their need for a savior, then we can take that recognition and allow grace to pour out of us, even on our enemies and those who persecute us. But it takes a lot. And we just pray that God would give them the supernatural ability to love their enemies and to do it well in a way that would make them a light in a dark world. Let's pray. Father God, loving others is hard enough. But for Jesus to raise the bar and give us this hard, hard teaching, love your enemies, do good to those that hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who persecute you. Oh, Father, this wasn't just contrary to the teaching of Jesus' day, it's contrary to our nature. But you give us victory, Lord, and you give us the gift of the Holy Spirit to produce fruit in keeping with repentance. And we pray in Jesus' powerful name that you would do the same for our children, that you would allow them to have a love that is so pure and so supernatural and so other than anything that they could conjure up on their own, that they would stand out, that they would have the power and the, the ability to love their enemies, to pray for those who persecute them, to bless those who curse them, and that that would just be so different from anything that anyone has seen, that you would be glorified and that they would point everyone around them to you, God. Give us the ability as parents and grandparents and guides and mentors to point our children in the right direction, that they could be salt and light in a bland and dark world, that their attitudes and their actions would point countless others to you. In the powerful name of Jesus, amen.